Is AI writing cheating? This is a question I often get asked a lot from even well-intentioned people, and I don't always know the answer. Uh, I personally do not think that AI is writing with AI is cheating, but a lot of people disagree. And so we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of this argument, and I'll give you my responses in a step-by-step -step format. Let's get into it. So I, I feel like many people, when they are asking this question, there's a mentality that those who are writing with AI are lazy or that we're just out there to make money uh, without actually putting in the good old hard work into what it takes to create art. And I've done a video before about why you should write with AI and this is going to be touch on some of the same concepts, but I really wanted to get into some of these arguments and my responses to them because I do not believe that we're all just greedy, uh, lazy authors, uh, obviously. And so let's look at uh, a couple of points here. Firstly, no, writing is a multi-step process. Okay, we have this idea in mind that writing is you sit down, you type out a bunch of words, and that is writing. But in reality, writing is a multi-step process. It begins with that initial idea. Literally staring out the window and daydreaming is part of the writing process because you're coming up with ideas, you're shaping those ideas, you're using your imagination, that's all part of it. And then outlining is part of it. Developing characters is part of it. Uh, and then, of course, the actual writing is, of course, part of the writing process. But then you have to edit, and then you have to format. And <clears throat> it's this big, long process. And it, you know, a lot of people, when they say, oh, AI writing isn't real writing, they're talking about the actual writing part. But is it really any different than using it for brainstorming or anything else? And I'd say no. I'd say if you use it for any part of that process, uh, that is valid. I believe all of us have an area of this process that is our least favorite. You know, you might not like outlining. You might not like writing the prose. You might not like editing. You might hate putting together book descriptions. And that is the first place I would look at when choosing to use AI or not because that's that's important. And so I think this is an important thing to keep in mind when we're discussing is AI writing cheating? Well, is using a proofreading software cheating? Uh, is using a partner, a writing partner to write half of the chapters, is that cheating? And I honestly would say no. Number two, AI is a different art form. Now, when some people say AI writing is not real writing, first of all, they're just trying to be hurtful. <laughs> but second of all, they actually have a little bit of a point. And my thoughts on this is that AI is going to be viewed as something completely different and unique from writing or art or what have you in the same way that photography uh, is now seen as a different art form from you know, painting someone's portrait or something like that, because initially photography was feared by artists because it was replacing their income, which was to paint portraits. Now anybody could have a portrait, uh, <laughs> a portrait, you know, uh, using a photograph to do it. And it's even more accurate, even though it's black and white at the time. And I think AI is going to be very much the same thing. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a different skill set. It's still an art form, but it's a different skill set to create that art form. We're now talking prompts. We're talking editing skills. And we are now, I'm thinking, we might start to call ourselves more or identify more as storytellers than as writers. You know, I still do a lot of actual writing the, the traditional way. And so I still consider myself a writer. But I have always, even before AI came along, considered myself a storyteller first. And so that's a question like, do you want to be a writer or do you want to be a storyteller? And do you want to identify that way? And so AI writing is not cheating because it's not writing. 
you know it is a totally different art form and i think as the years go by that distinction will be a little clearer all right point number three ai is great for those with burnout and those who have neurodivergence of some kind uh, if you have adhd or dyslexia ai is really great for helping those people out and uh, you know autism uh, other different things if you're on the spectrum um, AI is in some cases the only way that these people are, are able to get any coherent words out. I went through burnout for a number of years uh, writing very little and it was really AI that got me out of that in a big way. And I think that's important when people say writing is cheating or writers are lazy. You have to remember there are legitimate people that are so grateful for these tools because it has brought them out of a dark place or allowed them to express themselves in ways they could never have done before. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Point number four is AI reduces decision fatigue. I, this was actually a surprise when I started working with AI is that I noticed that I, even if it took me the same amount of time to write 2000 words or whatever, I felt less tired by the end of it. Um, even though the output by the time I was done editing with it and everything was more or less the same as what I would have been like had I written it myself. But because AI kind of takes all of those little decisions out of, out of the picture where you don't have to make a decision on every single sentence you're writing, it makes it so much easier on the mind to do it because every time your mind makes a decision, um, it uses up some, a little bit of willpower. And you get this thing, concept called decision fatigue. And it's a real thing. You can look it up. Um, and so is AI cheating by removing that decision fatigue? I really don't think so. I feel like it is only enhancing uh, the uh, experience that I have. And sure, maybe it feels like cheating just because we are getting past a difficulty that all writers have. But... I don't see why you would want to do that. Like the option is available for you. Just go, go take it. All right. One of the arguments against AI um, is that the quality of the out AI output is, is not good. And that, and therefore it's something that you shouldn't really worry about um, because it's either not going to be good enough to surpass the quality of a human writer and so if you're using AI, you, you're getting what you're putting into it is basically the argument um, and that you can't possibly have good quality writing because uh, you are using the AI. And first of all, I have to say uh, that's, you know, just wait. It's going to get 10 times better in the next year or so. And second of all, um, most of the people that say this uh have horrible prompts <laughs> and the more you're in this field you the more you will discover that prompting is everything garbage in garbage out and the better your prompt is the better the output will be and so it's not cheating because it actually takes some skill to get that output and then it will take some editing skill that many authors don't have very well to actually take the output and, and turn it into something even higher quality. And you can get to an even higher quality with less effort uh, than you could normally do uh, because you were spending this time um, on the on the editing and not on writing the first draft. All right, point number six, uh, a lot of people are worried that AI is cheating and that it isn't good for society because it's just going to flood the market with horrible books. And let me tell you, that has already happened. And it was a concern all the way back when Amazon opened up the market for anybody to publish a book on Amazon's Kindle Direct publishing platform. That has not changed. And in fact, before AI... AI came around, we, you could tell that the market was already saturated because it was starting to become a pay-to-play market. Uh, there used to be a time, years ago now, when you could put out a book and there was a good chance you could get organic discoverability of that book. 
those times are long gone. A lot of people bemoan that fact, but this is actually just the reality of selling a product. Every market will eventually really reach a point of saturation. If you're lucky enough to get in in the beginning when you can get that organic reach, then lucky for you, but most industries are not that way. Most industries you have to claw your way through and find the perfect niche for you and the the perfect product for those people and you have to pay to get there. Uh, it has to be good enough that people will pay more than you are paying to get the ads. And now that we have AI books out there, really nothing has changed. And it's going to be the people that are willing to pay the money and the people that actually spend the time creating a quality book that will their stuff will rise to the top. And then last I checked, uh, if you're writing 100 books with AI and not putting any thought into the quality, first of all, the quality will make it so it's not going to go anywhere. And second of all, those people are probably not willing to put in a ton of money into those books. They're just going to put them out there and, and see if something happens. And frankly, that's not going to work. Not long term for those people. All right, I've alluded to this already, but point number seven is that garbage in, garbage out. AI is not cheating because uh, if it were cheating, it would just be push, pushing a button and you'd get a perfect book. And that's simply not the case. And I think even in the future when AI is a lot better, a well-prompted AI will always outperform an AI that had a lousy prompt. And I think that will... You know, I'm, I don't want to make too many predictions in the world of AI, but I'm pretty sure that will be the case in the future. You want to have quality prompting and spend the time to get your prompting well. And if you don't do that, it's it's not going to be good. And so in that sense, using AI is not cheating. And this is a point that I've, I've seen a number of people use and that I really like, and that is that AI is to writing what a calculator is to math. And I like this because we don't accuse the expert mathematicians of cheating because they use a calculator. They use a calculator so that a lot of the mundane mathematical stuff that they don't want to worry about can be done quickly so they can focus their minds on the parts of the, you know, I'm not a mathematician, uh, on, on the parts of the math that they are experts in or, or are more advanced. They can spend all that brain power doing that because they don't have to work out addition and subtraction and all of that because they just have a calculator to run those numbers for, for you. And nobody complains at tax time that we have calculators and nobody complains that we're cheating because we're using the calculators and not doing everything out by hand. And I really do believe that AI is doing the same thing for writing. It is taking out those mundane aspects of the writing process, the ones we don't like, the ones that if we could just get them over with quickly, we could focus on the more important things, which like for me, for example, is crafting a really good story and doing the outlining and brainstorming these intricate worlds and stuff. That's the part that lights me up. And so I can focus more on those things while using the AI to sort of sweep the aspects that I don't enjoy the most under the rug, uh, just like a calculator can do for math. All right, point number nine, um, and this is my last point, but AI gives you more time for deliberate practice. Now, if you're familiar with the concept of deliberate practice, this is basically the act of identifying where you need to improve and then repeating that action over and over and over and over again until you get it right. When I was growing up, I played piano. And we would literally take one line and I would practice it over and over and over with my right hand. And then I'd practice it over and over and over with my left hand. And then I'd put them together over and over and over until I got that line perfect. And then only after I'd done that, sometimes for hours, would I move on to the next line. And that is how I learned music. Uh, at least that's how I was taught. And it's the same if you look at Olympic athletes or golfer, golfers. A golfer will practice their swing over and over and over again until they get it perfect. The way you do this in writing is basically to take something you're working on. So let's say you want to add more description and you want to learn how to get more descriptive in your writing. So you would write a scene. Um, maybe So you could maybe write a scene from a character 
ending up in an environment and looking around them and seeing and just describing what they see. That might be something that comes up in a book, but it would be a far more effective way to practice if you just wrote 10 scenes that were that exact same thing, but in different scenarios over and over and over again until you finally got good at writing description in your scenes. And this is something that most authors do not do because we don't have the time. We think, oh, I'll just write the next book and that'll give me plenty of practice. And it does give us some practice, but it is not as effective. And there's science behind deliberate practice. It is not as effective as picking one specific area of improvement and then doing it repeatedly until you get it right and getting feedback and doing this like feedback loop on it. And so if you have the time to do deliberate practice because you are using AI to write your books, you are going to get so much better as a writer. And that in turn is going to feed the quality of the AI because you're prompting it better or because you're able to edit what it gives you better uh, because you've developed these skills. I actually think this is an important point because I think a lot of people are going to become even better writers because they're able to focus on this deliberate practice, even though they're using AI for a lot of the writing. And so that is my final point. I hope that was interesting to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any responses for the criticism that AI is cheating, and I'll see you in the next video.